Hello YouTube people, today I gonna show you yet another Addis Die watch. I had one like this a year ago, but it was automatic and it had black bezel. This time I bought quartz and to switch things up a little bit, I have chosen the one with the green bezel. And initially when I took this watch out of the packaging, I was really disappointed because this green color doesn't look like anything like in the pictures on Aliexpress. It's completely different color. but after my brain have readjusted a little bit, I started to like this color very much. Let's start with the wrist shot on its original bracelet. Beautiful watch. And I tried adjusting colors as much as I can to give that natural look of this green. But it still looks a little bit more saturated, at least on my monitor, than it is in real life. But I will try my best describing this green later on in the video. I personally prefer wearing this watch on a black rubber because I think black makes this green bezel pop out a little bit more visually and overall I just prefer the comfort of rubber over the metal bracelet. So what's so special about this color? Uh, initially I hated it because it looks nothing of what I expected. But after a day, I started loving this color and I like it a lot. It looks, it's, it's faded out green with just a little drop of yellow. Glossy finish, that's the best way I can describe it. If I could choose again, I would still go for the green version. Because the black one that I had last year had a problem. It has completely white, bold numbers and markings. While indexes and hands have very strong yellowish tint. And when the dial is glossy finish black and the bezel is glossy finish black, that color mismatch is very noticeable and in my opinion looks rather cheap. It looks like one of those ultra cheap watches. But this green one kind of combines everything together so nicely. It just visually glues this watch together. It looks very cohesive. And I really like how those yellowish indexes and hands look together with this green bezel that has a little drop of yellow in the shade. One visual thing I don't like about this watch are those Mercedes hands. I generally don't like Mercedes hands, I think they are overused, they look very generic and unoriginal. <laughs> and on this watch in particular they are just too short and too skinny for such a bulky watch. Let me show you a nice example. This Pagani design has Nicely proportioned Mercedes hands and these are beautiful. Look how nicely they play out in the light. Nice. They look good. These ones look good. But these on Adidas Dive, they look like they came off of an ultra cheap watch in comparison. Let's do a quick quality check. How is the crown treading? Oh, it feels good. Crown feels absolutely perfect. Perfection. And I can see it has a rubber gasket. Nice. How is the action? Oh, very nicely dampened. Very slow crown. Feels really good. Let's try setting on exactly 45. Oh my god, it jumps. Hold on a second. Maybe that's, that's my bad. Let's try again. Okay, I'll be very careful. Mm, it jumps a little bit. Yeah, sadly. Sadly jumps a little bit. Let's try to set it on exactly 6. Let's see how is the alignment. It looks a little bit... I don't know. Is it is it straight? Is it straight? Let me see. I don't know. It looks straight enough for me. Let's check how does it flip the date. 11 p.m. 11.30 11.45 Hmm. Nice, very close to the midnight. How is the bezel action? Absolutely wonderful. It is stiff enough that you aren't gonna knock it off the place, yet it is soft enough that you can actually play with this bezel as a fidget spinner. And alignment is just spot on, perfect. What I don't like are those bottom edges on the case. They feel a little bit too sharp for my liking. Uh, bracelet feels good, no sharp edges, really good. Uh, clasp, also no sharp edges, but you know, it's just folded metal clasp, so feels a little bit cheap. And everything seems like 
comes together really nicely. Can't really complain. Can't really complain. Bloom on this watch could easily be a single reason why would you want to buy this watch. Because it is incredibly strong. It is a lot of fun. It is just as strong as any automatic steel dive or Adidas dive watch that I had. No disappointments on the loom whatsoever. Just look at this thing, it's like a toy. The conclusions, where I gonna rate this watch on my website thomaswatchreviews.com where I rate watches into different tier lists. This one goes into keepers. You know what? I really wish that Adidas Dive would make a version with Sapphire Crystal on Quartz Watch and I wish they would use some different handset, a little bit bigger, meatier, that would fit better the this bulky style of the watch. I would be the first client, let me tell you that. But considering the price of this watch, it's it's incredible. This watch is simply incredible. I mean, crown action, wonderful, bezel action, wonderful, solid bracelet, 200 meters of water resistance, quartz, I like it. Loom is just on another planet, it's amazing. I mean, for the price, it's just, a, it's a very strong keeper, very good watch, very strong recommendation. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.